Let's face it. The more you swipe on dating apps, the more you swipe that hopeful smile off your face. It's time to take a deeper dive into the science of relationships and discover proven strategies to attract, connect, and build lasting love. The first thing you can do to find love is to ask yourself what can be done to become an extremely desirable person. A great first area to focus on is your emotional intelligence. Understand yourself and learn how to talk to people. How do you learn about yourself? Figure out what you like and dislike and figure out what truly fascinates you. Explore different areas of art, science, history, entertainment, etc. to gather pools of information to pull from to find passion points. Take calculated risks and get out of your comfort zone. Travel as much as you can. Understand your emotions. Use the feeling wheel to give yourself a comprehensive language around emotions that will help you navigate them in yourself and others. Talk about things in healthy ways with other people to get them out of your head. How do you get better at talking to people? You go and you talk to people. Talk to your friends, family, teachers, coworkers, whoever. Practice weaving different topics into the conversation and get good at talking to people in general. Talk to cashiers at places you frequent to make simple, small talk. It can really suck and be uncomfortable, but the more you do it, the better you can work through challenging social situations and become a master of your words and conversations. Also, try your best to become a great listener. For every several statements that someone makes, repeat back the last few words of what the person just said to you. Ask questions to learn more about what they're talking about. Show genuine interest or be real about how you feel. To prevent it sounding like an interview, try your best to only ask one question for every two to three statements. Interdependence theory highlights how our actions and emotions can impact others in relationships. Also, don't forget about the big five personality traits, which provide insights into your personality and behavior. We'll be making plenty of videos on that in the future. Esther Perel is a well-known psychotherapist who is an expert in the topic of human relationships. To find love, Esther believes that basic fluency in the language of intimacy comes down to just seven verbs. You can pause the video now to read through each of these at your own pace. Our understanding of intimacy is shaped by our early experiences with these verbs and our primary caregivers. Perel encourages us to examine each of these verbs and see how we can improve our relationships with them. To become better at love, we must challenge ourselves to show up in these vulnerable verbs. Examining your relationship to these verbs can help you identify areas for improvement in your relationships and help you become better at love. Also, don't forget the idea of love languages. Although they're not necessarily scientifically valid, they're a great tool in conversations for your relationships. When it comes to dating apps, it's a tough game out there. Men tend to swipe right on over 60% of women, whereas women only tend to swipe right on about 4.5% of men. Rob Henderson, a PhD in evolutionary and social psychology, has conducted a fair amount of research into dating and apps. He has a few interesting data points around improving your chances. He said that men with dogs in pictures have about a 60% better chance for right swipes or yeses. Assuming all other things are equal, men with graduate degrees get twice as many right swipes or yeses than those who do not have a graduate degree. For women with graduate degrees, the difference between them and those who do not have graduate degrees is only 10% more right swipes or yeses. Men with guitars tend to get significantly more right swipes or yeses as well. One study from David Buss, an American evolutionary psychologist known for his work on human sexuality, 
suggests that men who are around other attractive women in pictures are rated more attractive by other women than when they are alone or with other men in those pictures. This is actually not the case when it comes to photos on dating apps, however. Men with photos including women on dating apps will actually get less right swipes or yeses from other women. For men and women, it's a great idea to use high quality pictures that showcase your interests and personality. Keep your bio brief and lighthearted while avoiding negative language. Share something about your hobbies and just be authentic without trying to be too overly humorous. Try to be selective in your swiping and take your time. Need a first date idea? Try something fun and outdoorsy in a public area. Do something active or a little scary. If you do an activity that gets your heart pumping or puts you in a heightened physiological state, those heightened emotions can later be attributed to attraction later on. In psychology, this is known as the misattribution of arousal. It doesn't guarantee anything for sure, but it certainly doesn't hurt to try. Let me know in the comments below where you are in your journey with love. For anyone that's new here, my name's Jeff and my goal is to make psychology make sense. If you've been enjoying the content so far, any support for the channel would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for hanging out. Another way to help you find love is to understand the various components within it. I'll flash these on the screen right now as well, so feel free to pause if you need to so you can read them at your own pace. These components of love are great levers to lean on while you search for that perfect person. Love is a tricky thing and every person has a different definition of what love is. Love takes many different forms and can work in a wide variety of ways. As we grow and mature, we tend to be more capable of deeper types of love that involve a large array of feelings, emotions, states, and challenging growth periods. Become a master of your emotions. Use the feeling wheel. Improve your intimacy with the seven verbs from Esther Perel. Consider the tips I referenced around dating and understand the various components of true love. In doing so, you can massively improve your chances to find a deep and fulfilling lover that will make your life brilliant. If you're interested in other topics in psychology, be sure to check out my last video where I do a full breakdown on my first year of psychology content. So for all things psychology to help you think, feel, and perform better, stay tuned right here on Psychology of Living.